now here we have view as now we are going to see the experiment uh, as per that the uh, experiment six expand on performance assessment of micro wind energy generator as per an university syllabus the scale of simulation is UG student beginners level right here that is uh, induction generator is uh, before entering to the main simulation we are going to see the small part of that uh, induction generator types so the fixed speed squirrel cage induction generator SCIG yes C I G this type of uh, uh, simulation only now we are going to see which means the wind turbine with gearbox is connected to the squirrel cage induction generator which means squirrel cage induction motor whenever run uh, driven by the above on its synchronous speed the motor will act as a generator right the motor will act as a generator so that is during that time that uh, machine which can be draw the reactive power and uh, supply the real power draw the reactive power and supply the real power this is the same action but the slippering based machine is used in the slippering based machine we are utilizing the converter again that is the another one converter we are used in that stator side and rotor side so this is variable speed double fed induction generator this is variable speed electrically excited synchronous generator right so these are all the things in different category next variable speed permanent magnet synchronous generator i think uh, last video we have seen this uh, type okay now we are going to see uh, on this type of generator so before connecting to the grid uh, that is what we are going to do it and uh, the experiment but here they are says the experiment in laboratory induction generator is to be run with the help of uh, uh, dc motor with the help of dc uh, motor so now we are going to simulate the same effect simulate the uh, same effect with the help of dc motor that is the second file right now here we are going to see this uh, file you may going to uh, draw this uh, circuit uh, from the components from the components from the library so if you want to see the uh, the circuit drawing you may going to see the uh, video in our earlier video which is available which is available in the uh, uh, your tabs that is which is uh, available in our uh, channel right in the earlier videos how to draw the circuits which is available you may go into uh, see right now that is uh, this is the induction generator okay this is the induction generator um, here this is the induction machine induction machine that is asynchronous machine uh, i am also going to select that the squirrel cage uh, type what type squirrel cage that is the type is different types is, is available so wound rotor type squirrel cage and double cage rotor so that is i am also going to double uh, that is uh, squirrel cage uh, for uh, uh, simplification purpose 50 hertz 10 hp machine i am going to select that suppose if you need the double gauge double school cage you can open the parameter estimation so which is available in the matlab in newer version again the preset value the open preset motor this open preset motor which have the already number of motors that is which is available in the market number of motors which can be available in the market suppose i am also going to take 400 volt to uh, 250 uh, that is what that is uh, 1500 rpm next time select 
then open so uh, after loading this you may go into uh, all the lc component r1 component r2 component value is calculated based on the actual real machine right so this is the uh, type which is available now in the matlab right okay so i am here i am selected this the the already default module which is available in the matlab okay so the that is now i am going to apply and then give that okay signal so this is the uh, three phase power measurement block this block is measure the uh, three phase voltage and current now that is a phased ground value i am going to select i am going to select the phased ground value this is the phased ground value next three phase load this is the three phase rlc load so our frequency is a 50 hertz so i am also fixing now that is 5 kilowatt that is the active power the reactive power of ql and qc i am neutralized that is i am put the uh, zero so here that is uh, the main part the output of the voltage output of the current which may be taken from the label that is b a b c next one is i a b c so okay so this v a b c and i a b c here i am going to tag tag the this information and which may be going to connect this is the power power so here i am going to change the frequency of 50 hertz so our frequency is a 50 hertz frequency uh, i am going to apply so this is the 50 hertz frequency i am going to apply here so this is the magnitude of a volt peak voltage which may be measured next real and reactive power we are measuring so similarly this is the rlc element we are going to put that the capacitance for reactive power compensation this is utility grid this is utility grid 400 volt rms i am connected uh, the short circuit ratio that is which is available in 10 kva next that is base will also mention the 400 uh, volt face to face rms suppose if you are not properly uh, uh, input give the input for this base voltage v rms face to face value the entire simulation will also give some wrong uh, uh, calculation result so uh, you should carefully give this value x by r ratio which is default is uh, 7 right so now I am going to run this simulation, right? So now the simulation is uh, running. So I am also giving the uh, talk. Yes. Now it may be you may going to see minus ten. So at the time of step time one, the plus ten the motor which may be run as a the mod machine which may be run as a motor next uh, that uh, after a time period of one second the motor which may be run as a induction uh, generator so how the machine which can be supply the uh, uh, real power how we, uh, we are going to verify so that is the thing please see here that is uh, uh, that is the 500 watts power that is the real power which we may be supplied by the uh, that is machine it will be dragon again after that one it may be below the zero here the above the zero again this is the below the zero that is is very important the machine actually working as a generator here the machine is working as a motor here the machine is a working as a generator so the grid connector uh, induction generator is working so further now we are going to see the experiment option of the uh, uh, induction on the generator in uh, in our laboratory experiment we are giving that the uh, induction generator induction generator run by using the uh, dc machine here i am also going to put the dc machine so i am also going to take the 20 hp volt as a armature again 300 volt for the uh, field okay i have se selected this option 
so next uh, how that is uh, 20 hp uh, 20 hp power i need the uh, torque calculations and the torque and other calculations so here uh, i am also here that is what is the horse power that is 20 hp so what is its speed now we are going to see the what is its speed we are uh, fixing this uh, uh, dc machine so this dc machine has a uh, 1750 rpm right now i am also going to uh, give the value of 1750 rpm uh, calculate the torque so the maximum torque that is the 60 60 is the maximum torque so here uh, that is a 52 point plus something so i am also going to fix 0 to 70 0 to 70 the uh, slightly over tapping and low value so we are going to change based on these uh, uh, operations right so the next uh, uh, that is the uh, calculation here we are going to obtain the speed in uh, radians radi uh, per second that is radians uh, 2 pi uh, uh, n divided by 60 based the concept we are going to obtain that the uh, speed omega that is radians per second here this speed which may be converted into that electrical torque that is the basic equations we are uh, seen here that is uh, um, which is uh, uh, available yes that is the speed conversion formula that is 2 pi divided by 60 into n into rpm so the next this is the formula for the torque calculations here that is the omega that is torque power and omega so this uh, implementation is which is we are going to implement it here so that is uh, we are going to connect this uh, uh, torque value into the uh, uh, this machine okay suppose if the machine input is a negative the machine which may be run as the uh, um, uh, positive it's a uh, induction motor in the torque which may be negative the machine which may be going to run as a uh, induction generator so here we are going to uh, fix the voltage and the current here we are going to fix the value is a 50 hertz that is the 50 hertz for in our system right so the same machine which we, we are going to select that is a 10 hb uh, prime mover which is greater than this for that purpose we are selecting that the uh, 20 hp uh, of the machine here that is the field is system is a separately excited systems so that is one is the separately excited the armature is connected in 240 volt dc so this is dc which is available uh, uh, that is the uh, point again uh, uh, this is the another one way this is the 350 volt maximum that is controlled dc uh, this value it is varied from that uh, uh, that is uh, 250 to 350 voltage okay so here i am uh, going to identify the positive and the negative variation i am reversely connected the voltmeter so for that reason that is the reading is in the negative we will see right uh, so for identifying the uh, reverse process okay now i am going to run the simulation after that uh, that is a sorting and uh, settling period the values will be in the constant position during that time we will change the torque and then the, that is forward and reverse of that uh, the power flow of the induction machine now i am going to start the simulation right so now the simulation is running please see that is the minus 17 that which means uh, 317 volt this is 240 volt which is available uh, the speed is 181 that is radians per second so radians per second means which is we are going to calculate that is 1002 pi f this is 2 pi f uh, which is available here uh, divided by 60 so 183.2 something is the value that is 182 uh, that is uh, some fractional difference is uh, available now this value is in the positive so the now the machine up to 2.2 the machine is run as a uh, uh, motor, uh, motoring effect now i am going to change this uh, torque so that is the machine which may be going to run as a uh, 
that is the torque is that is the negative so the machine speed is increases so that is uh, uh, the torque is changes again further it can, it may be going to change minus 8 so the machine now it can be run the machine having a zero crossing effect we will see the at the time again the three point something uh, i am also going to change the voltage this uh, voltage for uh, uh, reduce reduced so further i am reducing so 275 whenever that the field control again the speed will be uh, further increases again the torque will be improved again it may be going to improve that minus 33 for that the uh, torque here we are going to see the further improvement of that the uh, um, um, real power um, uh, supplied by the induction generator okay uh, and also which is be used as a capacitor and what is that the voltage which is all the things which is uh, connected in the uh, system this is the uh, which uh, uh, this experiment or the simulation which can be limit the characteristics of the dc machine sourced uh, induction uh, generator right so now i am going to see the power i am going to see the power uh, please see the power variation uh, curve here that is three point something i am also going to change the torque from that uh, positive to negative so the machine which may be uh, act as a motor to uh, generator motor to generator again i am also increase the speed i increase the speed uh, by using the field control method so again the torque will be increased the, the the real power supplied by the machine will be in the uh, reverse simultaneously the reactive power observed by the machine will be increased so from this experiment from this simulation we are clearly identify the uh, grid connected induction generator uh, that is that induction generator which is uh, driven by the or limit by the dc machine whatever which is available in our laboratory okay right okay this is the experiment uh, for the anna university lab the scale of simulation is uh, ug lab students okay right